So a couple days back, I dropped off my brand new 2024 Tacoma SR5 in its completely stock form over at Westcott Designs. And I had no idea what to expect. All I knew for sure is we're doing some wheels and tires along with the Westcott lift. And then I said, surprise me with anything else you guys want to do to it. As you guys are about to see in its finished state, I am at a complete loss for words. Quite literally, the transformation is absolutely insane. It's now delivery day. Let's run it. Come on, man. Okay, I'm Check coming. I'm coming. We've been waiting to share this with you. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to look first. Right? Roof rack, sliders, wheels, tires, lift. I don't know where to look first. Check it out. It's a Tacoma. Look at that. With the screws as the wheels. Screws and wheels. Bed rack, roof rack. Oh my it's gosh, different. it's there this too. matches the design in the roof rack. And then we this. Got a little mountain right here. It's oh going to do... Just quick alignment on the car. For sure. Just quick. Yeah. And then it'll be ready. When okay. You take it. Sounds you guys good. Guys, go out and test it out in the desert. We see will. What you guys think? We will. I just fumbled so hard on everything that I thought I'd be saying when seeing that truck, dude. <laughs> I have actually no words. They're doing alignment right now on it, and then. We're gonna pull it out, take it for a photo shoot and a little test run out here in the desert. I'm shaking right now, like legit. Okay, so it took me a good, probably 24 hours to take all this in. This was a, <laughs> Quite the surprise. Uh, so when I dropped this thing off, guys, I said, let's do wheels and tires and lift. That was kind of all I was expecting. And I said, surprise me with the rest. Yesterday, I was kind of at a loss for words. I'll be honest. I mean, the roof rack to the sliders and the bed stiffeners and just well, the ugh, God, like taking in all the detail and everything too. There's so much going on. So I want to kind of walk through all this now that it's all kind of been processed on my end and uh, just talk about it more in depth. I mean, just everything from the way everything contours you know how it all fits. I love how everything kind of follows the lines of the truck. I mean, one thing I want to say that my very first observation was when I approached the truck with a side profile here, right? All the lines of the truck go in with what you guys have built here. When we talk about the whole roof rack and, you know, we had this design back here and I said, you know, let's kind of dress it up. And, you know, Josh had mentioned putting a car on the back on the bed stiffeners. And I go, okay, well, if we're going to put the car on the bed stiffeners, let's make it as a little cool little trinket on the roof rack if somebody wants it. So you can order it with it, you can order it without it. But you know, I shared it with you and we did it on your truck because I wanted you to kind of get the first one and see if you liked it and you know, and your viewers and if they like it and <laughs> it's the you know, they can seen. they can order the riff rack with it or without it, you know, and they can order the bed stiffeners with or without it. But one of the first details I noticed too in this whole thing was the how the wheels are the actual hardware. Yeah, it has a, of, it's a stainless steel plate screw right there, which is through the cool center of it, which is kind of like the hubcap or the wheel on it. You know, it's got the little bed rack here. You can actually see it's got a, a roof rack here. And, and then it's got, a, you know, like right here, a little indentation for the door. And someone from Toyota actually reached out this morning and said, hey, what, what about like laser etching that? And I was like, well, we could maybe laser edge that. I guess that's another thing we could try. And because we can, we laser etch with a lot of our stuff on the laser. And so it really can put in even more detail in, but it's like one of those things, how far do you take the detail with the customer? Ask your guys out there if, that, if they would rather see more detail, if that's important to them. But you know, for us it is, it's all in the detail. We talk 100%. about, I know a lot of people when they look at stuff and they say, oh, well, my welds are as good as your welds. And this slider has as good as weld as that slider. But you know, when it really comes down to it, when you look at our welds, you know, we did, we offered rock sliders without in clear coat and we did it for a couple of years. Um, and we did it because we wanted to show off. We wanted to show people just to the level of what our welds are. Now this one is a MIG weld. So you can see the dimes stacked on a little bit better than you can on our TIG weld. Some people don't care about that stuff, but it is one of those things. It's if you're really into this stuff and you're really into quality and welds and stuff like that, those are the little things like, even we, when we cut the tube, we laser the tube here and then we weld this plate back over the top and then we go back and grind it out. But that's so all this stuff matches the contour on these trucks, Yeah. you know? And then all the frame mounts that we do, um, the tubing and, and the, 
the back tubes and, and the kick tubes and stuff like that just to make sure it's that much stronger. We posted up that video showing people that, hey, our rock sliders, we lifted the truck off the ground. Trucks off the ground, held by the rock sliders. We're fully supporting this truck by the rock sliders right now. So people say, hey, your rock sliders saved the sides of this truck. I would say pretty saved right here. Off the ground, a couple of feet, and we supported it by the rock sliders, you know, to show that they're that strong. And look, they they're bent, they went flexed back right into the same spot, and I'm sure you'll go out and test these on trails, and that's <laughs> kind of why we decided that you're one go of the best use, people to do this because you definitely put things go ahead and use mine. It's bases. Good that you had already taken the inner support out here or the mount bracket right. uh, with your stock tires because you probably needed it with your stock tires because you articulate the car <laughs> so hard. You so know? as you can see, I went out last night and that's why she's a little bit dirty right now. But yeah, the 35s fit perfect. Yeah. I didn't experience any rubbing at all. I didn't, uh, you know, they, they fit great. 35s yeah. plus 25 on the offset, perfect fitment. And in my opinion, the perfect stance too. Yeah, when you, um, like we talked about it, you look at it from the front view here, you know, the fender's widest point is here. And as we start to head down here, it travels in. So it does, it looks like it's got a lot more tread showing here than up here, but it, out here in the top. And then if you look at it from the back, the angle that you're looking at it really makes a difference on, on how much uh, stance it has or poke out the front here. Yeah. But it looks aggressive, but it doesn't look overly just, aggressive. Right, just yeah, the right we're, amount. We're 1.75 with the 35s on it. The truck we did yesterday obviously had, uh, had a plus 35, this is a plus 25, and it had only had one inch, but it also had a one inch narrower tire on it too at that 285, 75, 17. Yep. So running this size tire gives it that much, a little more poke, and that's the sidewall, the bulge in the sidewall that gives it a little bit more appearance of that. You could probably go 11 and a half inch tire on this, and it would look like it was tucked in a little bit more uh, and not have so much uh, bulge on the sidewall. I love how you wrap the roof of this to, yeah. to kind of mimic the pro and look like the pro. And I think that it's really cool. It kind of adds some separation there. Mm -hmm. um, it also distinguishes the back part of the roof here, the design in the roof. And that's one of the things that we really focused on was the design on this to match the design on this, you know, and it just, it ties in really well. And our bed rack, it will tie into this and continue on. So they all tie in together for it. We're actually gonna offer a full uh, height rack that'll match this. We're also gonna offer another rack that'll be just below so it matches the roof line and then we'll offer another roof rack or a bed rack that will be even a little bit lower so you can really configure it the way you want so so from a design standpoint too you guys got it really flush with the side and speaking of the side too so the side plate here is a quarter inch correct we went we went up to a quarter inch on the sides and you can see like when we grab a hold of this just how sturdy the, the roof rack is on this. Yeah. It's, it's super massive so and it's sturdy. And it was sturdy before. Does it need to be this thick? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's more just because we can do because it. Because you can. And we can, yeah. As you guys may see the uh, the shapes here. Yeah. yeah, the shapes are gonna tie and into the hybrid and the shapes are gonna tie into the pro model. So those are the emblems that are on the hood on the pro model yeah. and the hybrid model. On models. the hood badge, yeah. Yep. And then you can also go with the cutout there on the sides um to either work with lighting for lighting or, or handles grab handle. yeah and, yeah and we did and we did yours without any of that stuff and we just wanted you to experience obviously having no wind noise to share the new the other design that we're going to offer for this and you know and you let us know what you think and then for sure. the visor in the front we always talk about trying to keep it as tight as we possibly can following the angle of the window up and over the truck so we can just maximize the airflow on this and minimize any kind of wind drag or wind noise on these when we build this stuff. Same with the, the ditch lights, getting them tight down to the hood, getting pushed out to the sides as far as we can, where you don't really lose a lot of visibility out the corners of the windshield. So it's funny, before I flip this down, you know, you'll see some of the last gen Tacomas, you know, see how wide the gap is on the one side and how tight it is on the other. And a lot of times you'll see people with tents and how wide the gaps are on both sides. And then all of a sudden they flip their tailgate down and you look and you're like, Holy smokes, the amount of outward pushing load on, on the back of this, and that's from the load pushing out and the towers being on an angle, trying to push the bed sides away from the truck. And really one of the things that actually keeps it together is the latch system from keeping it from all the way bending out. So, you know, now with our new bed stiffeners, really helps to prevent any of that. We've got a, you know, a mount here for light or a mount here for uh, an antenna. Um, we designed this again here to match the roof rack to tie into some of our Easter egg stuff. And then it'll tie into the rest of our new roof rack that we're making, or bed rack we're making for it. Um, there's gonna be another attachment here where if somebody wants it, there'll be a bottle opener that actually bolts in back here with these two screws. But we did four screws around the, down the back 
And then we did two screws here using the factory holes in the floor. Please uh, get with Mark or get with us and we'd love to hear from you. See what you guys think of this. See what you'd like to see or, you know, or see more about, you know, that we are here. Uh, we're one of those companies. We want to hear from our customers. We want to hear from the people out there. We want to try to meet their needs. We want to try to design around some of the things that they're really looking for and that's important to them. Our friends over at Temecula Toyota or Temecula Valley Toyota over yeah. there by you. We have a good relationship with them. Yeah. We obviously have built a bunch of trucks with them. Uh, they've used a lot, they've let us use their trucks for prototyping for some parts as well. And um, you know, I'm glad that you were able to connect with Ryan over there, yeah. uh, the general manager. And obviously he's a great guy to know. And you know, I'm glad that you guys connected and were able to put this whole thing together and it worked out for you. Everything so, worked out so, oh man. so great. And that's what, it's good. It's, it's yeah. all about relationships. For sure. For Our sure. relationship, your relationship, you know, all that stuff is good. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Mark. Thank I, you so much. We'll be back soon yeah, with a follow sure. up yeah. on uh, how she holds up. Uh, I hope we go to Cruise Mill Lab <laughs> together. There we go. Yeah. All right, so be more great. to come on that. But top it off real quick. Homebounds, back to Cali. That was an absolute fail. <laughs> Gotta find the drone now. Didn't exactly bring the Hiker 3000s for this, but uh, we got eyes on it, so we're good. There she is, bada bing, bada boom, still one piece. Got the, uh, the truck kind of flexed out here, not fully maxed out, but um, the wheels are turned all the way driver up here. So show you guys the clearance we have here on the driver rear, 35 inch tires with a positive 25 offset. Look at all that clearance right there. And up here in the front, all the clearance in the world. Now, before you guys make fun of me, yada, 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 I know, didn't air down, but my onboard air compressor is not with me, so we're keeping them aired up to 41 PSI. Um, but we're fully dropped down here on the passenger rear. And then here on the driver's side, or passenger side, we're pretty much fully maxed out upwards. If not, we're very, very close, as you guys can see, tucks in there. Fitment is awesome, dude. I'm, I'm like <laughs> beyond hyped on the way it all fits. It's functional and fashionable. Can't beat it. <sighs> Now, I know I might sound like a bit of a broken record, but I'm beyond pumped on the way this entire build came out by Westcott Designs. I'm just, level of quality that comes out of Westcott Designs from the stuff they manufacture, um, like this roof rack here, the rock sliders, and their preload collar lift, the bed stiffeners in there. Everything that has Westcott Designs name on it is designed, built, powder coated, everything but the hardware, like these nuts and bolts right here. Um, and the anodizing on the preload collars and stuff like that um, is not done in-house, but everything else is. And if you guys knew the background of how the company started, you would understand how the quality is just where it's at. Everything is just done right. So I'm blown away. And that preload collar, I think, is the best way to go when, when it comes to retaining factory um, suspension, right? So down here, let's not slip and fall, but... That is the preload collar right there on the bottom, right? So it adds more preload to the factory suspension here versus putting a uh, spacer up top 
and pushing everything down is how you blow stuff out, right? It's the worst way to do it. Um, if you plan to actually use your truck like I do, the tree load collar is the way to go. I'm trying not to die up here, but again, I'm just, I'm beyond, I'm beyond pumped. And uh, whatever their lead times are, it's worth it. They don't keep anything in stock because everything is in such high demand, but it's worth the wait. 110%. I got with Westcott a long time ago in regards to lifting a new Tacoma. If I were to get one, I was still not sure, um, but I was able to kind of get with them way ahead of the game. And I'm not sure what the lead times are right now for a preload collar, sliders, or the roof rack, or whatever it is. It's well worth the wait. So hit them up and uh, let them know you want the best of the best. And they got you covered. So that there is pretty much all I have for you guys for today. I am going to go home and stare at my truck in the garage now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one very soon. Till then, peace out. Check this out. That's crazy how good it picks up light too. I know. It's not very Especially light outside. In the dark. Yeah, dude. Okay, well, let's continue. Yeah.